Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of East Side Hockey Manager with the Boston Bruins. And uh, we've sinned ahead a couple of weeks. Uh, made a couple of, I don't want to call them minor deals, but a couple of deals to help the team. I have another one that's pending and then we're going to see what else we can do. So the deals that we've made, let's trade center. You can see them right here. So uh, we wanted to improve our depth. Um, we wanted to move Beecher out of the starting lineup, and we did that. We picked up Jack Drury, 25-year-old from Carolina's contract expires this season. Or actually, no, we got him next year at, at 1.8. Um, they didn't want much for him. We traded them John Farinacci, a 24-year-old. Um, I don't know. He looks all right, I guess. He's got some good mental ratings, good stick handling, but I don't know if he's ever going to score that much. Drury's more well-rounded, gives us that that depth down the middle that we're looking for. Um, so, yeah, we pick up Jack Drury. His form hasn't been great as of late, but uh, that's all right. And then we picked up Alex Leon from Detroit for the rights to Mark Olivier Beaudry, a 19-year-old we drafted in the sixth round this past season. Um, we pick up Leon to be our backup goaltender because um, uh, Bussy just wasn't getting it done. So we bring in Leon to be our backup goaltender. Uh, we have a trade. Uh, let's just sim and see if it comes through. We have a trade um, pending right now with Seattle, a name I was surprised to see on the trade block, but it was there. So I figured we would make an offer and see if we can make it work. And Reamsdyke has been out for a while. Bussy clears waivers. Cool. Uh, we got Chicago today. You can see we're 33, 19, and 3. Our record sign, but we're in eighth place because the East is just tough. So we win here two to nothing. Potras and Drury. Love it. You love to see that in the third period. Matty Patra up to 12 goals, 20 points on the year. For Drury, that was his first goal. With the Bruins, the wins a win. Waiting to see on that trade offer. Uh, I'm not seeing it in here anywhere. I'll just kind of show you because I'm not seeing it in here. I feel like I would have gotten a reply already. It was with Seattle. Um, Eli Tolvanen, um, is on the trade block. Um, he's making $2.2 million a year for the next two seasons after this one. Um, yeah, they don't really, they're not really interested in him. Um, so I've been trying to piece together players that I'm willing to give up for him. I mean, I have to think that I can make this work. See, these are all one star. They're not interested in any of those guys. Kiwi Haru was our sorry. Was he our top? No, he wasn't our top pick this year. Third round. Maybe he was. I can't remember. Nikonov was one of our draft picks this season. Fourth round, yeah. Myrenberg, would you be interested in him? Is there anybody here that I would be willing to part with? Yep, Lassie Thompson I'm willing to part with. Let's offer that. Offer that, see what we get. We had a game today against Edmonton, yeah, we'll stick with Swayman and goal. And we win 6-3, to three, so that's back-to-back -back wins. Drury and Patra with goals in back-to-back -back games. They scored our last two goals of the first game, our first two goals of this one. We also get Lauko, which is nice. 47 games for Jacob this season, 18 points, a game rating of over 7. Pasta Carlo Strom. Of 
Buffalo and Calgary. And Mackenzie Wegar has been on the block here for quite some time. Still no answer. When's our next game? We got. I, I, I still want to find a defenseman. That's the other thing I'm waiting on. But I want this trade with Tolvanen to go through. Here we go. All right. So Eli Tolvanen for Lassie Thompson and the rights to Jonathan Myrenberg. I will confirm that deal. And we pick up a really good 25-year-old wing. Is he on our roster yet? He is. Eli Tolvanen. Uh, set player status. Core player set. Your roster again. Merkeloff out. Put Tolvanen in. Um, I need to get another defenseman. Then I need to send one of these, probably Beecher, down to Providence. Uh, who goes to the bench for Van Riem? I think it's Lauko. Well, no, because Van Riem's dyke isn't ready yet. So tactics. Tolvanen. Lauko. Yeah, Tolvanen's going to be a nice, uh, a nice addition for us, I think. Those are some really, really good ratings across the board. At 23 goals a year ago for Seattle. I'm happy with that. All right, now we need to find a defenseman. And it's hard because there's not a lot of players on the block. Um, the winger. That's not bad. I don't know. I need better deflections. Aaron Kroc is a forward. I knew that. Maybe Sutter. Also a winger. Russell is a winger. We need a very good defensive winger. We don't need that. We need defense. So let's look at the standings. Guys, I need to pause for just a second. All right, sorry about that. I had to answer an email. All right, so what I want to do, I want to take a look at some of the bad teams or teams that are not as good and see if they've got defensemen that they don't necessarily care about and see if we can come up with a way to um, pry them from said person. So San Jose, Calgary, Dallas, St. Louis. Let's look at St. Louis first. So you got add player and then interest. And I don't know if this is their interest or mine, but I'm assuming that it's their interest. That's kind of how I'm looking at it. Um, I could be completely off base here, but, and I'm not looking for a stud. I'm looking for somebody who, um, like Sean Walker's not a bad option. It's got a lot of green and, and kind of some of this. Some of the, I, I really, I'm looking for somebody with uh, good positioning, good poke check, um, good checking. So maybe Walker doesn't fit into that mold. I, I'm really kind of leaning towards players who are who only have two star interest because it won't take much to pry them. And the reality is, I don't have much to give anymore. Uh, so I'm not seeing anything there with St. Louis that's super appealing. Let's cancel. Let's make. Let's go and look at the Blackhawks. Yeah, a lot of their players are. It's making three million. That's more than I can really afford. Six year old, he looks okay. Playing down in Rockford. I mean, Ant Whistle would be a nice solution if we needed another defensive four, but I don't think we do. Um, Minnesota. Luke Shen. A 
was better than what we're throwing out there. Right? If I'm going to make a trade, it may as well be for somebody that's an upgrade. Otherwise, what's the point? Nate Benoit. Bring Casey Fitzgerald from North Reading, Massachusetts. Point four. I mean, he's not bad as a sixth man, but again, three stars. Kind of looking for somebody who only has two stars. Seattle, Vancouver. Morgan, uh, Morgan like the contract. That's only this year, though. Flurry's not really an upgrade over what we have. Ryan Dumoulin is their captain. And I don't mind, I don't hate the idea of Will Borgen. Oh, it's three stars, though. All right, uh, let's look at Vancouver. Lannon. I love some of these pictures, man. Jet Wu. Yeah. Stadnika. All right, nothing there. Now we got to go to Dallas, Calgary, and San Jose. So let's start with San Jose. And I always like to start in the other conference. You just you don't want to make teams in the in your conference better. That's kind of my take on it. We could bring back Yoki Haru. Kyle Burroughs is not particularly good. Root is not particularly good. And the uh, mellow. Not bad, but again, I think he's a three-star guy. Yeah. Nothing really there. All right. Calgary. Player, what does Calgary have? Nothing. And this might be tougher than I thought. Okay. Cancel. Let's look at the East. Carolina, Washington. Let's just start with Ottawa. Work our way back. Yeah, we are right at the cap, too. That's the other thing. I mean, this guy is looks like he's going to be a pretty good defensive defenseman. Has absolutely no offensive skills. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. Islanders. We may just have to run with what we have and hope it's enough. Robin Sallow. Okay, 
the game, this in, 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 in franchise hockey manager is so funny because Samuel Bolduck is listed here as a 24 year old four star interest. Looks really good as a, a young offensive defenseman in franchise hockey manager. He's a waiver wire guy. It's just funny how the games play out and players develop differently. I just, I find that neat. One of the things I like about playing both games, Florida. My phone keeps beeping. I apologize for that. Philadelphia now. Sorry, I'm sort of answering emails at the same time as I am uh, at the same time I, as I'm recording, which I know isn't uh, probably the greatest thing in the world from a um, I'm still on, but he's making five million. Demete, good offensively, not really what I'm looking for though. There goes my phone continuing to beep. Uh, Garnet Hathaway. Yeah, this might be harder than I thought. Thought for sure there might be a, uh, might be a, um, somebody with the two-star interest who could fill a role as our seventh defenseman who, or really our sixth defenseman who would be better than what we're already putting out there. And I'm, just not seeing anything. And that's fine, I guess. Detroit. Nope. Detroit. Ben Sherratt. He's making a crap ton of money. Ali Mata. Okay. This might be the answer here. What's his contract look like? It's just this season. Ali Mata might be that guy. There's Luch. Let's try it. All right. That would put us over the cap. Send Beecher to AAA, AAA. I sent Beecher to the minors. Um, I want to keep Bussy around because I'm not confident that Leon is the answer going forward. Um, yeah, I don't. Not crazy about trading any of these names. Uh, Merkeloff is developing. I can't. A minus. He's not very big, but he's. Yeah, he, offensively, he's really good. Uh, all right, let's look at rights. What do we have for it? I should be able to get this done. Riley Duran. There's some. Let's just offer it and see what sort of answer we get. Mata, he would. We would move him in there as our sixth defenseman, and and I think that would work out okay. I don't know that he's going to be hands down better than what we're dealing with, but. We beat Dallas four to one with Leon and goal. Pasta, Benning, Pasta, and Frederick. Bolvin in with an assist in his debut. Leon had a nine rating. 
26 shots on goal. Cool. And Reams Dyke has begun full practice. Is he hurt still? He's not. So we can get him out there. And Lauko, I guess. And Reams Dyke is not going to be on the. F well, we're pretty deep. We are a pretty deep team here. Um. Hotcher's on that second line. Coyle, Jenner, Zaka, Drury. We're all of a sudden pretty deep down the middle. Campbell, am I really going to have Van Riemsdyk on the fourth line? I think so. No. I have no interest in giving up two third-round picks for Ali Mata. Um... He was one of our picks this past season, right? I don't want to give up. I'd rather not give up any of our draft. Yeah, he was one of our top picks last season. So was Boys Fair. Yeah, he was our top pick last year. Now, Crocker. Let's offer that. If they really are into draft picks rather than rights to some of these better players, then I might just back off. So what do we have in Providence defensively? We got Brunei. He's an offensive guy. Ryan Mast is kind of man. Yeah, we don't have much. We don't have much from a defensive perspective. Forward wise, we got Lysel and Harrison are probably both with the Bruins next season. Beecher, if he can develop and turn into a, a defensive minded forward, I don't care if he doesn't score. Then Svedbach is, I mean, he might be our backup goalie next year. I don't know. But yeah, we don't have a ton in Providence because we didn't have, really, we didn't have much in terms of draft picks last year. I think we have our first this year, though. Okay, so they will accept this trade. Ali Mata for Niall Crocker, so we'll go ahead and do that. Cole Gutman traded to the Avalanche for a first-round pick. Wow. He hasn't been particularly good, but that feels like a coup for... Uh, Colorado. All right, there's Mata. Um, Merkeloff. I gotta have to place them both on waivers. All right, so Benning. Mata. So Benning will come out. Mata will come in. Are we over the cap? We might be over the cap. See what the game tells us here as we go to play this game. Well, we got absolutely trounced. We give up eight goals. We we're up to nothing. Mata scored in his debut. That was not good. Okay, so we aren't over the cap. That's encouraging, I guess. Mata seeks assurances. I mean, it's a fringe player. I mean, what, do you, what do you want me to say? So I think that's all we're going to do from a trade perspective. So let's... Uh, Let's get up to the deadline, and, and and we'll take a look at the deadline and see if there's anybody else available. But I think we're really deep from a forward perspective. Who's this? Cole Smith. How can there be a 29-year-old that I don't have fully scouted yet? Brock Nelson, Mackenzie Wegar still uh, on the block. That contract is pretty awful.
Carolina today. We win five to two, so we're still in seventh place. I mean, I'm 37, 20, and three. I'm not unhappy with, but the East is just really good. So Strom, Zaka, Strom, Coil, Connect Me. So Connect Me had three points, goal and two assists. Yep. Two goals for Ryan Strom. It's our seventh round pick in 2021. Oh, terrible. Strong kid, six foot four, two hundred and five pounds. Kuznetsov, a second, a third, and a fourth for Comfer. Graves for a second, and two fourths. When's my next game? The second. All right. The day before the deadline. It's a bit of a shorter video, but that's sort of how my mind works when I'm when I'm putting together trade offers. I'll go team by team with uh, a process in mind, and and uh, if I can find something that works, I pull the trigger. And and some of these some of these these players that I had rights to, maybe I shouldn't have moved them. But Matt Martin for a couple of thirds, Connor Garland, He's drawing some interest. Hunter Garland for Etienne Moren, two seconds and a third. All right. We're at home against the top team in the East. And it's a 4-1 victory. Colvin in with the goal. He's got five points in four games and a game rating of almost eight. So far, so good. Good returns there. Van Riemsdyk with two goals on the bottom line. Pasta. Colvin had a goal and an assist in this one. That's Drew we've been doing. Four points, like average game ratings up to 5.9. That's fine. Cool. All right, so we are at the deadline. We'll just look at the trade block itself and see if there's anybody of interest there. I. All right, so we're at the deadline. A lot of trade proposals, but no actual trade completions. Ryan Donato for a couple of players, but nothing yeah, not a lot of players on the block. Not a lot of players that are particularly good on the block, I should say. But I think we're going to go ahead and call it there. Let's take a look at our team. Let's look at our stats really quickly. Marshawn is injured. How long is he out for? A week with a thigh strain. All right. So we will stick Lauko back in. Swap Lauko and Van Riemsdyk. Statistics, Bostronok 71 points in 61 games, 37 goals, 34 assists. Marshawn 62 and 59. He's probably walking after this season. Honestly, at age 36, the ratings are starting to drop. Uh, he wants like 5 million. So I think we're going to let Marshawn walk, believe it or not, after this season. Zaka with a really nice season, 52 points. And Reemsdijk followed up his 31 goal campaign. He's got 23 right now. He's on pace for another 30 goal season. We got him signed for like 1.4 million. Connect me's had a an okay year for us. That's a point, 40 points in 60 games. Um, he'll probably be on the top line next year. Strom, 33 and 55. That's been fine. Or 39 and 61. That's been fine. Hannafin is a plus 32. I'd love to keep him around. I don't know that I'm going to be able to afford him. Maybe with Marshawn. Coming off the books, we can. Patra and Frederick both doing okay. And then goalie wise, 29, 14, and 3, 2, 5, 5, and a 9, 1, 4 for Swayman. Um, yeah, you can see our goalies Swayman, Leon, Busi, or Bussy, Svedback, Homer. Uh, McAvoy, Lindholm, Hannafin, Carlo, Mata, Benning, and Mason Lowry. 
Tolvanen is now listed as our top left wing. Marshawn, Frederick, Van Riemsdyk, Merkulov, Zaka Coyle, Jenner, Drury, Atra, Pasta, Konechny, Strom, Loco, Lauko. Yeah, we're our forward lines are pretty deep. So if we lose Marshawn next year, it won't be that big a deal. Lysel's our top prospect. Our four best prospects are all in, are all in Providence. Sasha Boysvare, our top pick a year ago, is up there. Uh, who's our most overrated? Brad Marshawn. Okay. All right. Well, that's it for this episode, guys. I'm going to go ahead and sim to the start of the uh, playoffs. We come back. We'll do the postseason. Hopefully, it'll be postseason and only the postseason, and not just the post, not just the post, or not the postseason and the off season if things go sideways for us. But that's going to do it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. See ya.